that there are millions of people who get support, uh, who get enhanced because of the donations that are, uh, are sent. I'm a bishop in a, in a place running a diocese and uh, with a huge number of people, different needs. And I've been able now to have many young people who would like to be priests. When a priest was raising up the host, I felt very much touched. Then after the Mass, I went and asked him, Father, I want to become a priest. Then from that moment, he told me what to do. Then I joined the altar boys, I wrote my application. Then he started forming me until when he sent me to the seminary. And today I'm in the, in the seminary. And now I'm in theology, first circle one. I decided that at least it's better for me to join seminary in adults or to be like those priests where I will be helping Christians to reach the kingdom of God. And they live well with the other seminaries from other parts of the, of the country of Kenya and the, the region as such. So we wish them all the best in their formation and we encourage you to support them eh, in whichever way. If you can give them a book, a pen, a dictionary, a Bible, you know, they will help their people at home because their country is really in need of people who can bring peace. And this one is are the instruments of peace in the future South Because of having priests in the, uh, with us in the future, we will be able to have better citizens. So the money you give is transforming life and bringing the country to stability in the future. And one of the things we do in one of our programs is to pray for all the donors, the benefactors of Sudan Relief Fund. So I want to thank each and every one of you uh, for this support and we will continue to pray for you and we need your prayer that one day one time you are planting seeds and you will be repaid back by God and also by the good work we may be able to do. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successor? I do.